Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series review. We've got Tala Durith from Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was a fantastic character. Uh, finally picked up this figure just yesterday at work. Uh, I guess we're on here in collectibles for those wondering. Yeah, I do work in a hair salon slash toy shop. We do have a YouTube channel. I'll put the link down in the description so you can check them out. Check out our website as well. Uh, we do sell sell toys on the on the website. And uh, yeah, check us out on Instagram and stuff and all the fun we have in the shop. We're all Star Wars fans. We call ourselves the Collectors Who Cut, um, which is which is fun. It's, it's just the best place ever. It is. It's, a, it's, a, it's awesome. It's a dream. Um, so yeah, Tala Durith, played by the, the fantastic Indira Varma. What they've done here is fantastic. Again, it's just sort of, it's been in the shop for a, for a little while now. And uh, yeah, finally just getting around to picking this one up. I did pick up uh, Vel Sartre as well. She will be coming up next. So yeah, number 13 from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice figure. Let's take a look at her. So one thing that really excites me about this figure is it's a, a new sculpt of Imperial. You've got a feminine, feminine sculpt for future Imperials. Um, I'm looking at characters like Arinda Price from Rebels. I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, Ray Sloan, if they're going to dip into some expanded universe, or whether she's going to pop up in future series. Uh, Ray, Admiral Ray Sloan has sort of been a big part in the books over the last almost 10 years, I suppose. Going back to the, her introductions in the Aftermath books. But yeah, she does come with the single blaster pistol, which does fit in her hand really nicely. It does fit in the holster there as well. So not much of an action action figure. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it opens up some doors for some more releases, much like what they're doing with the Vintage Collection Imperial Officers. You know, once you've got that sculpt lock, knock, locked down, what you need to do is change some sort of rank plates occasionally. And, you know, even then they can sort of get away with some cheeky repaints and not have to worry about those details. But... Yeah, I think the head sculpt's really nicely done. Still a little bit of that sort of sweaty finish. But not too bad at all. I think it's a good likeness. I'd like to see her um, in another outfit. I think that would make a great, great figure. But yeah, she did spend probably most of her time in this outfit from her reveal. As a, as a spy, as a rebel sort of a mole within the Empire. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Nice sort of cropped hair, sculpted in, the hat is sculpted on. But again, you're sort of hitting the, hitting the right lights, you can really sort of see that head sculpt, just fantastic, really nicely done. That classic grey imperial look. I can never remember the names of the, the pants that are sort of sticky outy on the sides like that. Looks like me when I gotta take all my all my change to the bank to get swapped over for for notes or deposit or all. <laughs> Fill your pockets with coins. It's got a sort of imperial standard imperial issue gloves and boots. She looks good. I thought she was a fantastic character. Sort of half expected her to survive and sort of go on to sort of cross cross over into other series. It would have been cool to see her show up in season two of Andor. And I sort of expected a little bit of a crossover there with the Andor anyway. But yeah, nice, nice, easy little review today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. That has been Tyler Durith, Imperial Officer. We'll see you on the next one. May the Force be with you always.